Hey, how's it going? So um, someone had asked me to make a video about logging into the scanner. Um, now I didn't get all the photos I wanted for this, so I apologize if it's not super useful, but uh, here we go. So logging into a postal scanner. So first thing you want to do, you pick up the scanner, um, the scanner that you're assigned to, and uh, you hit the big green scan button and it wakes it up. Okay, anytime you want to do anything with a scanner, that's what wakes it up is the scan button. Even if you're not trying to scan anything, that's what you push. So anyways, you hit scan and you click on the enter button, accepting this little message, right? And there may be other messages to follow after this one, but you enter the message and then eventually <laughs> you'll get to something that looks like this. It says, welcome. And then it wants you to scan your barcode, which is your ID that's hanging around your neck. Now, if you don't have that yet, well, then somebody would else would have to log in for you. Um, but you know, you'll get that soon enough. And then you have the ID badge. I would highly recommend that if you get your ID badge to uh, take it, take a picture of it with your phone, like I did here. Um, because uh, if anything ever happens to that ID badge, like you lose it along the route, um, it gets damaged so that you can't read the barcode anymore, something like that, um, you want to be able to still log in. So having that photo on your phone is a good way to assure that you'll always be able to log in, even if something weird happens with your IT. I was out on a route once, towards the beginning of my route, um, my scanner froze up on me, so I had to restart it, reboot it. And uh, then when I went to uh, log in again, I looked down and my, my ID was gone, because at that time I was still wearing it around my neck the whole route. And I was like, oh no. And, but you know, I hadn't been too far on my route, so I just kind of retraced my steps and uh, went two apartment buildings back and there it was laying on the ground where I had delivered a package. So I must have like knocked it off when I was delivering the package and there it was. But you know, if I hadn't have found it, it kind of would have been terrible if I would have been, wouldn't have been able to log in and finish my route. So yeah, have it on your phone all the time. Good advice, trust me. Um, you also could, if you have a printer, you could print out that bar barcode and put it someplace that's super convenient for you. Like if you drive a POV like me, you could tape it on your dashboard. So you could just scan that ID when you get into your vehicle. If you don't have your own vehicle, if you're an LLV, you could always um, just have it taped to a cooler, uh, you know, inside the cooler lid or somewhere on the outside of the cooler. So that, you know, again, if something happens to your ID, you've got that secondary <laughs> barcode that will allow you to log in, okay? So just some thoughts on that. After you scan in that, um, it'll ask you what you're gonna be doing. So are you a rural carrier, city carrier, so on. It will also ask you if it's the first time using the scanner. Now, this was not the first time I've used the scanner. I use it all the time. Um, or if the scanner's recently had an update, it will want you to um, type in your eight digit ID number. Okay. The one that you write on your green cards, um, your eight digit ID number. It's also your login for light blue, that eight digit number, and then also put in your first and last name, okay? Um, so it'll at, prompt you for that information. If you haven't used that scanner in a long time or if you, it's a, your first time using it. Okay, once you choose that, then it'll ask you if you're motorized or walking. Um, so if you're using a post office vehicle, so an LLV or a ProMaster, something like that, or one of those new, uh, one of those new Mercedes vans, um, then you want to choose on-street motorized because you're using their vehicle. If you're using your own vehicle, you would choose on-street walking, okay? Yes, you're going to be driving, but it's your vehicle. So yeah, um, you choose on-street walking if you're using a POV, okay? Um, and then it'll ask you what route you want. Now, if you've used the scanner before, it will prompt you with one of the choices will be the route that you did before. It'll be on there. Um, if you haven't used the scanner before, you're going to have to enter the route number or there could be a bar route barcode. So if there is a barcode for that route, like on the case or something, um, it happens sometimes, you just press the green button boop, and you scan it, you've got your route number. Otherwise, if you have to enter it manually, that's not too bad. You type, you, you choose E or you type the letter E and it'll ask you what the zip code is. So you type in the zip code and then you just have to type in the route number. So if you're on route four, for example, you type in 004. If you're in route two, you type in 002 and that's it, okay? 
Um, once your route number is entered, then he will ask you to confirm. And that's it. <laughs> you're scanned in. Uh, you're, you're on the scanner. And uh, you could always log out and log in under a different one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the size of it. And then you can go in and see what packages you have, all that good stuff. <laughs> all right. Uh, if you have any questions, if there's something I missed, let me know. Um, talk to you soon. Okay. <laughs> all right. And have a good day.